Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Way to Showdown series, Serie A. Now we are here, the team is starting to look very nice, even though the last episode we took one step forward only to take one step back. Not a nice uh, effect really, so yet again in this episode we are going to go for the upgrade of Ariado, the uh, left centre back. Hopefully get him, he's a non-rare silver and hopefully with that step we'll be able to start upgrading to future better players and hopefully uh, move on to golds really fast. If you lot want any ultimate team coins make sure you check out fifacoinstash.com as well, their link can be found down below. Right. The wager showdowns. Record so far is 14 wins, uh, 14 games played, 10 wins and 4 losses. Not good at all. So, we've actually come up against our first YouTuber in this series. And it's only took 8 episodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 episodes to play our first YouTuber. And it is Fuji. If I'm nice, I probably will remember to put his link down below. Because he got completely bullshitted uh, with a few events in this game. And I do feel for him, to be fair. Because out of all the games I played, he dominated me. He's a weird type of player as well. He did some strange, strange stuff. Uh, and it did confuse me. But. In the 18th minute, we did manage to get the lead with the Mao there, outreaching the goalkeeper and getting his fucking melon head on it, like my melon head, and uh, tucking away the ball into a gaping net. But the bullshit wasn't there because just after, um, well, just after we scored from the corner, this sort of stuff happens. Nice pass and move by myself, actually. I'm quite impressed in there. Nice step over, whipping. Keeper saves it, parries out, snapshot as well from there, and it deflects off his defender into the back of the net. Absolutely gutted. But he's going to obviously uh, show a bit more determination. That sort of stuff was confusing me. Uh, we do save it there uh, and get away with it, but that sort of stuff was confusing me. He's using the skill dribble a lot, something I'm not used to. But another very lucky chance, uh, well, very lucky defending for myself, tucking the ball away and getting it out very, very nice. But he did keep knocking on the door, finesse mildly going over. Uh, and I, well, it did feel like it was taking ages for the game to reach half time but just before half time he sweeps the ball wide and uh, thankfully is it thankfully i can't remember yeah thankfully we do go into uh, into half time with a two goal deficit but that day on FIFA, I was finding it very difficult to hold on to leads. If anyone would have passed me a dog, I just would have let it go. I know, that was a proper cringy joke, innit? Next minute, I would start pulling out jokes about um, Asian people and cats and dogs. But I'm not that bad. So... 2-0 and still cruising really into the start of the second half. He's moving along with his skill dribbling, getting through me quite easily as well. But at least this time we were uh, well feeling each other out. But he does catch me with a nice half volley. That is a very nice animation as well. And Lockadia, don't know who the fuck he is. He's someone I might delve into in the later Road to Glories. Um, does tuck it away to bring it back to 2-1. But straight after that, Look, that guy again, that striker, does tuck the ball away to make it 2-2. So not only did we spend that long keeping the score at 2-0, we give it up within a matter of 10 minutes. Not a good look. And for the rest of the second half, it was just a continuing feeling each other out. It was like the awkward moment when you just get a girlfriend and then you just don't. But when, when you're sleeping with her... You're sleeping about two metres away, two metres away from each other. Well, if you lot are not like that, then it's just me. Also, guys, I'm gonna say if this reaches another 1,000 likes, there'll be another episode out tomorrow. So we we'll continue that theme of getting over 1,000 likes. That'd be fucking awesome. So as you can tell, the second half of that game went completely to shit, and we do move on to the second half. Uh, well, first half of extra time, and then this happens. A nice shot from uh, Yassien, does hit the post, bounces out to Makusel, who does tuck the ball away and does the Dirty Mike celebration. Very nice finish, tuck it underneath the goalkeeper, I must say. And it was a fucking horrendous rest of the game. Uh, I do do these away from stream now as well. A lot of people have been asking me to stream these uh, wager showdowns, but unfortunately I can't because Twitch have changed the... Um, 
the, well, they haven't changed the rules, they've just enforced them, where wages can't be done on Twitch anymore. So, unfortunately, these are done behind closed doors, and you lot don't get to see him until now. So, you did see the stats from the sec first half of extra time, what it was up to. He was pissing on me, but we do walk away with the win. So, a 2k wager does get us the uh, upgrade of Ariodo, but because of me doing the same wager last episode where we did go for Ariodo I've decided to move away from going an instant upgrade onto a rare centre back so what we're actually going to do as you can see in the bottom left hand corner we're going for our first upgrade on a goal player now this would be if you win this wager for Makusel well, for Insigne, sorry. Uh, if you win this way for Insigne, Makusel will be booted out of the team and he will be put in his place. But if we lost, we would downgrade into a non-rare silver striker. We'll be bringing back one of the starting 11 from when the series first died. So hopefully that won't happen. The person we're playing as well, has a very nice silver with two bronze as well, as that was uh, politely asked. Actually... Yeah, we did, ask for, we did ask for one, but he decided to rock up with two. Um, and another thing, guys... This opponent didn't really know about stat cards. Now, usually when I play these showdowns, there was a big beef about stat cards being in game, uh, being on players in the last series on FIFA 13. So we have fully removed them. Now, with stat cards, they aren't the same as chemistry cards. That's something we need to uh, uh, label out now. Chemistry cards are nothing to do with stat cards. Stat cards are plus 10 on every attribute, where a chemistry card just makes the person better uh, in the position. Now, this is a very, very tight and close game, and for us to take the lead, Makusel had to score a tramp goal. He didn't have to, but I wanted to, because we need to reinforce our stance on wager matches, and the stance is we need to win. And just after that, we managed to break through there, double tap shot, and it goes into the bottom far corner, giving us a 2-0 lead just before half-time. 10 minutes to go and we're cruising really now both of these games were played away from home that's something i don't usually do in the series you will all know that anything i can do in my advantage well to get an advantage i will do it apart from stack cars and dirty other shit um so home advantage was always something i uh proud myself in uh but unfortunately uh fuji he invited me and i felt rude not to go into it so i went into it uh, and obviously we beat him and then that was the aim in this game as well this guy didn't understand what gamer tag was, uh, well GT, so uh, we just joined the game to save some hassle and save time. Now just before, well just before half time, yeah he does, took away the ball very lucky. Now that's the type of bullshit I am trying to lose on FIFA, where the keeper saves it, it bounces everywhere else apart from your defender's foot and straight to his attacker who's going to tuck it into an open net. Very, very annoying, just before half time and uh, we've conceded a goal. Now, with him getting that one goal back, anything can happen in FIFA 14. Uh, he could be completely dominating a game like we have been, and he could have scored that chance. If he had scored that chance, it would have caused a hell of a lot of shit. Merkel having a bit of fun inside his area as well. Don't know how he missed it, but he did. Ball fizzes past the post, and then not long after, uh, he does get another chance. Now, Merkel has been a nice addition to the team. I loved him in FIFA 12. Didn't really use him in FIFA 13. Actually, I don't even know he was in FIFA 13, but FIFA 14 is back again, and uh, hopefully he'll be in this team for a long time. So there we have it, guys. In this episode, we have two wins, two games played, and two upgrades. And also now, we have our first gold player in the team. Not going to complain about that. So Makusel is out. We are going to bang him on the bench, though, in case we ever need a super sub. That's something I'm going to implement this year, uh, super subs, for me anyhow, because uh, and they're going to include the previous players in the teams. So, guys, remember, a 1,000 likes for this, and there'll be another episode tomorrow night between 5 and 10 p.m. UK time. Remember to subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content, and comment in the section below about what you thought in this episode and other things. Until next time, see you all later.